Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Jesus, Clary, you look like shit. Yes, more so than normal because yesterday, <clears throat> in an epic battle of good versus evil, I got a, I got a Fitbit thing, and I had to beat Marcus Brown. Just had to, and that son of a bitch and I were just going at it like this. And I ended up walking, hiking, slash running 28 miles yesterday. Woke up in the morning and just, because it was the final thing, and I think the old captain is going to... Uh, play some video games. But the work doesn't end at Asshole Consulting, does it? No, it does not. It does not. The contribution to GDP will continue forever unless you're a no good lazy welfare bum of which half the United States is. And you guys just sit there. <laughs> so, so an advertise. Do you know that 48 million Americans go hungry? The fuck they do? The fuck they do? Not, not when six of our population goes. Why is it the poor people and the hungry people are all morbidly obese? Because they don't have it. It's going to happen in our time, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to happen in our time. They're going to get government aid so they can get organic, healthy food. All right. <clears throat> We're not here to talk about my problems. Uh, please keep my name out of this. Happy holidays, Clary. I'm considering asking you to make a video on your thoughts about the craziness of Black Friday and holiday shopping in general. I'm aware that they there have been times where both employees and customers end up badly injured when the door is open. A guy just got shot, I think, in, um, was it Alabama? Somebody died. Somebody died. Uh, because of this stupid Black Friday shopping shit. In spite of all this, I do believe that a mandatory task for every human should be either to, one, work for two months in a restaurant, or two, working retail during quarter four. Regardless, what's your take? I like this idea. Um, I don't think you should be forced to work Black Friday. I don't think anybody. I, I've, if you, I, I know we've all been there, myself included, where you have to. You just have to work. But you had to work overtime. You had to work holidays. I understand everybody's there. And maybe that's that's a mandatory thing where you sacrifice and you learn and you suffer and, and, and you galvanize. But, man, Black Friday, <clears throat> look, the normal everyday population is stupid enough. You go and you got to be on the front lines, whether you're a security guard, some poor schlep working at Walmart, somebody working at McDonald's, and you got to deal with, I mean, with the truly stupid, the truly dumb. I mean, the dumb, I'm, I'm talking dumber than people who are efficient, you know, have the actual mental uh, uh, disability. Like, I have more respect for people with Down syndrome because they didn't, <clears throat> they didn't control any of that. But we're talking people dumber than that. Because I think people who may actually be mentally retarded, mentally impaired, at least have a logic. Um, these people, who are all hyped, <laughs> pumped up on adrenaline because they're going to get a deal on a flat screen TV, whose lives are so valueless that it's worth them risking life and limbs, literally life and limb, uh, but at minimum to waste five hours of their precious finite, well, not so precious, their lives waiting in line, fighting other welfare recipients and dredges on society to get a discount on a microwave to save, what, 25, 50 bucks? Like, that's how bad... <laughs> So, so to, I'm not saying don't be frugal, but they, they have nothing else. Like pe this is why I hate people in line so much, because it is a statement that I have nothing else going on in my life. My time is so valueless. I, they have nothing else going on because why else would you stand in line? If you have something else going in line, and, and you know, like oh, I could break the yard, I could spend time with my family, I could watch a good documentary, I could just sit and enjoy a good cigar, that you you have none of that going on, or you lack the wisdom to look and say, there's other things in life I could be doing than standing in line. We got this thing called the original pancake house, I don't know if you guys got that, but the sheep, the fucking sheep, they'll, they'll sit, it's a 45 minute wait, okay! 
And not only is that one person speaking for themselves, they're usually speaking for five people. Let's all go to the original pancake house the same time all the Swipple white people go. We'll stand in line, okay. We're Swipples. We just stand here and we'll wait. And so the, that's turned up to 27 on Black Friday. Or Black Thursday. What is Black Friday? <clears throat> um, so... I, I I like your idea. It's like mandatory military service. I know this may shock you, me being libertarian. I think everybody should be like the Swiss or the Norwegians. No, you're all doing a year stint in the military. I would have mandatory military service. I think that would be because it will humble you. It will humble you. It will introduce you to the real world. Um, but a very good surrogate to that or uh, uh, replacement to that would be, yeah, you work two months in a restaurant or retail. You deal with the commoners. I don't know if I'd have it, you know, during Q4. Okay, Q4, but not during. What what everybody should do, what all you guys, I know you can't, I know you can't, but what all you guys who have to work security or retail on Black Fridays, you just go on strike, say, we're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it. Especially when it's on the internet now. My God, what is wrong with you people? What the hell is... Right now, down below, hey, you, you want some great advice? You want Cappy Cap advice? Right now, go click down in the comment section. There's a link to my Amazon affiliate program. You just click on that and you start buying stuff. And then you save yourself the five to eight. You get a whole day off. You get a free day. Yes, you might have to pay $5 in shipping, but guess what? You're going to blow that money on gas anyway going down to Walmart or Target or whatever. And then you get a full six hours freedom to play video games or do whatever you want. And, and here's, I didn't know if you knew this about the internet. They deliver it to you. Amazon pays these little trucks to go around with little people in them and they drop it off. There you go, sir. Oh, thank you. And you got your shit. But yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I, I would agree with you on everyone should work some kind of humbling job where you are exposed to people. Um, and, and in my case, when I work security, it's usually drunk people. So I see kind of like a different world of degeneracy. Um, but I'll, I'll take a drunk person who just needs to be kicked out of a club or something over hyped up fat obese slobs of America who, who are pushing each other out of the way to get a discount on a remember Tickle Me Elmo you guys remember that 20 years ago remember all these soccer moms biting each other's rings off because hey because I want to be extra cunty today um that that's a whole new level of evil and degeneracy and I think you should get a little glimpse into that. I think you should see the entitlement of American people so you know exactly what kind of people are out there. And not everyone's your good buddy and friend. Well, these people are really swell. I got some great friends. Yeah, yeah, you got great friends because you screened out all the assholes. All right, that's it. If you guys want to do Black Thursday shopping or Cyber Monday or whatever it is, down links below, blah, blah, blah. That's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.